Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark and I thought I'd post a really quick video um, to thank all of the Fuku Fighters for doing the work that they do. Um, Kevin Blanche, Miss Milky the Clown, Rad Chick, Nibiru Magic 2012, Missing Sky 101, Beautiful Girl by Dana. Uh, these are all the people that I subscribe to and watch on a daily basis on YouTube which is really the only real place to get real information on Fukushima. Uh, sometimes we can hear um, Beyond Nuclear, the guy on TV, and he ends up kind of softballing everything. We've got Helen Caldecott out there saying, oh, the Japanese are tidy people. They've cleaned it all up. It's not that bad. Uh, we actually have three nuclear meltdowns still ongoing. and pouring the corium right into the Pacific Ocean. The Atomic Energy Agency, the IAEA, International Atomic Energy Agency, gave permission to the Japanese to start dumping their stuff into the Pacific, which we, anybody paying attention knows they're already doing it. So that was just them acknowledging that they had to do it because they have no answers. And, uh, you know, frankly, I'm seriously outraged that nobody's speaking out against this because we have uh, Secretary Energy Secretary Muniz yesterday on C-SPAN saying, we're building another nuclear power plant, the best kind there has ever been in 30 years. When we don't have Jack, right now in New Mexico, we have a fire going on that we're being lied about. Again, the 90% rule. John Goffman came up with that, the 90% rule. The IAEA sticks to the 90% rule. Underreport nuclear contamination by 90% and lie that there is any contamination at all, that there's any harm. And that's what they're doing. And, you know, we actually must contact our representatives. We have to get politically active. For people to say, oh, well, the system's bad and they're never going to do anything. You know what? They're never going to do anything if you sit on your ass and don't call them. I mean, thank you, Anna Beck, for calling John Cornyn, because he's a jerk. He's one greedy bastard who thinks he's going to dig his underground bunker and him and his family are going to live in it for the next hundred years. Uh, I mean, these people are completely insane. They think they're going to repopulate the earth after they've killed us all. So, or that's the going theory. I don't know. Maybe they're just idiots. Maybe they just believe their own lies like abusive husbands who don't want to acknowledge that they've been beating the shit out of their wives until they kill her, you know? So, we need to get the vote out. That's what I think. I mean, these people in the streets all around the world, Chunky Mark was out ranting today, which I tried to, I wanted to have it in the background, but YouTube won't let me listen to it on my droid. That happens to me sometimes. I, whatever, I don't take it personally anymore. And they're not going to stop me, which is why I decided to put this camera on the top of my car and just post a little video about, you know what, we got to have more endurance, more perseverance. We got to have the stick to itness because you know what they're counting on? They're counting on us getting exhausted. They're counting on us giving up because they're not going to do jack. They're going to dig in their heels. They're going to deny everything. They're going to pretend like it's no big deal. They got Rachel Maddow out there talking about what's it called, Bridgegate or something like that, like what? as if everybody in the Republican Party didn't know that Chris Christie was 100% corrupt, as if that was not the standard procedure, at least in the GOP and most likely in the Democratic Party also. So it's just bullshit. They're just trying to frame the whole Republican Party so they'll go, oh good, we have another Bush. Thank God we have a good Republican to put up there. And then they're going to start working on shoving Hillary down our throats. Well, I, I'm sick of that paradigm. I'm personally sick. I've been a lifelong Democrat and I just re-registered as a Pacific Green Party member. And I suggest all of you people who have never voted, who have not registered, Get yourself together and get yourself registered. And don't register as the GOP. Don't register as a Democrat. Register as a Green Party member or an independent. You know? I mean, for God's sakes, don't participate in the Tea Party. I mean, that's funded by David Koch, 
for God's sake. They say they're not, but you want to know what? There's plenty of documentaries showing the financial tie to those people. The John Birch Society, look it up. They're a completely evil, regressive stance. And it's part of the problem. They are eugenicists. They believe that they're entitled to live and we are not. I mean, the bottom line is, is we have a really full planet right now. And if we would provide women with birth control and family planning around the world instead of refusing to fund plants, family planning issues because of something they think God said to them, I mean, really, we're being hit over the head. Like, you know, when we hear about the Egyptian pyramids, we often hear that they were built by slaves or they were built by people who believed in all their, you know, fake gods and all that stuff. Well, what do you think we're doing here? Every single one of us drives a car, goes to the grocery store, participates in the machine that's actually killing us because we don't have any other options. So we got to work from within. And that means we got to not give up. And we have to be clever and we have to have stick to itness. Our country just, just now, put an 84-year-old nun in jail. We just created our first Nelson Mandela and Sister Megan Rice. I mean, and President Obama, if you're listening, please free Megan Rice. I mean, for God's sakes, you're a black man, aren't you? Man, being the operative word. Pony up and stand up to these monsters that are pushing you around for God's sakes. And you know what? If they're going to knock you off, they're going to knock you off anyways. They're killing your children. Don't you even care? Malia and Sasha are beautiful girls. And you don't even care that they're being radiated right now. You go up in the airplane with them. You don't even care. You take them to Hawaii. You're ignoring the low-level radiation that's everywhere now in the Northern Hemisphere. And you honestly are going to tell me you don't care if your two children get cancer when they're 35, 40 years old. Or if one of them has a thyroid cancer when she's 24. I mean, it, it's murderous. I, I don't get it. I honestly, you know what? I'm the one who deemed you Uncle Tom Obama. Because you were protecting the system that's out to kill you. And you're still doing it. And I suggest to you this. When you're on the wrong path, guess what? You can always turn around and go the other way, guy. So, and, and have some courage. And yeah, you know, those people in Ukraine are giving up their lives for their freedom. The people in Syria, God forbid the people in Saudi Arabia, anybody speaks against those guys, they get quartered and sliced up. I mean... At what point are our world leaders going to start remembering their humanity and stop living in fear? You know, I'm just going to say this. We have got to persevere. And thank you, Miss Milky the Clown, for persevering when you went through a horrible, horrible time in your life. And you know what? The work you've done is could stand on its own already. We could replay your videos from two years ago. All we have to do is multiply the numbers because Fukushima's just getting freaking worse. You know, thank you, Rad Chick, for pulling together the website that tells us the things to improve our health. Thank you, Dana, for helping us, you know, find the solutions that we're going to need. Because this is our reality. We're living in a nuclear reality. This is the age of fission. And so, um, this is just a quick shout out to everybody. I really want to encourage people not to give up. Do what you got to do to refresh yourself. But you know what? They want us to give up. They want us to turn off because we're exhausted and it looks like nothing's getting done. They want us to pretend like, oh, we got to go back to our lives because they're not going to do anything. Well, this is my thing. I call Ron Wyden's office. I call Jeff Merkley's office. I call DeFazio's office. I actually thank DeFazio because he's on the right side. He fights like hell for us. Ron Wyden, go along to get along Ron, they hate me. When they hear my voice, their voice changes because they know I'm going to give him some shit. He needs to break ranks. These, these senators that are, and these Congress people that are keeping their trap shut because of the so-called Unpatriot Act, that's bullshit, man. They need to just break ranks. Let's, let's watch 
Eric Holder start to arrest these people. Let's watch the NSA. Fucking liar, Clapper, the guy who lied in front of Congress. The NSA guy, Clapper, lied in front of Congress. And you know what I found out? All the senators found out they knew he was going to lie. So they let him lie under oath in front of Congress when they knew he was going to lie, and they're doing nothing because they're afraid of what? Being arrested and hauled off to jail? You, you know, you can't arrest 100 senators if they all broke ranks. You can't arrest 50 senators if they broke ranks. They couldn't arrest 10 of them without a big outcry. It's bullshit. Our lives are being threatened. Our children are being threatened. And it is not national security. It's greed. It's money. Our tax dollars. You can take a look at the Department of Energy budget. Almost all of it goes to nuclear. So our tax dollars goes to the nuclear energy industry. And because of the Price-Anderson Act, they have complete immunity. If something goes wrong, guess who pays for it? Us again. We pay for it. So they just get to get rich with our money. It's like the same thing with the industrial military complex. What do you think that's about? It's not about war. It's not about security. It's not about freedom. It's about the gun makers and the war makers getting fucking filthy rich out of slathering up into a passion full of hate so that they're willing to kill their fucking neighbors. That's, that bullshit, that paradigm has got to end. And we can control ourselves. I mean, we can live up to a higher ideal. We know what's right. Humans know how to love. That's the one thing we do well. We have huge compassion. We know how to love. We know how to forgive. And you know what? I mean, honestly, I could probably... I don't think I could forgive Dick Cheney, honestly, or Donald Rumsfeld. They're murderers. Could I forgive them? I could probably not hate them as badly as I do. But you know what? They, ha they, they, they can't run the show. Those Caligulas have got to stop running the show. And the only way they're going to do it is with me and you refusing to give up. And talking to your neighbors and talking to your friends. I'm standing out in the parking lot at school. You think everybody that knows me at school doesn't know about Fukushima? I carry around these little brochures. Let me show you what I carry around inside my bag so that I can give them away. This is my book that I, this is my package. I'm about to go into my Spanish class. Let me show you what I actually carry around with me. And I carry them around and I hand these fuckers out because you know what? I cannot believe people know nothing. But I don't fault them. I'm not angry at them. I carry around this. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little tiny brochure that I made. And it's got super small writing. And I'll read it for you, so in case you says it says, Love finds solutions. Love requires courage. And the 90% rule of underreporting and denying nuclear damage by 90%. Nuclear radioactive fallout causes genetic mutations, cancers, leukemia, heart attack diseases, chronic illnesses, weakness and sterility. I know that's funny, heart attack diseases. I should have put a comma there. Infants, children, and young people are easily affected. Your efforts matter. That's a huge thing. Love is greater than fear. Since 311.11, and this is fucking really pisses me off because this is still true. Since 311.11, radioactive fallout has been flowing nonstop into the air and Pacific Ocean. Inadequate responsible response by the IAEA, TEPCO, Japanese government and nuclear industry made Fukushima fallout much, much worse. And then guess what I have on the back? Little tiny numbers! But you can read them if you really wanted to. It's how to get in touch with the NRC, their email addresses, because that's why you can't call the NRC. They don't take your phone calls. You gotta fucking email them. Bastards. And then I have our elected officials, Barack Obama, Jeff Merkley, Ron White, and Pete DeFazio, Governor Kitzhaber, and our mayor here, Kitty Piercy. And then I tell people to get involved. And there's the Hanford Challenge. Physicians for Social Responsibility, Columbia Riverkeepers, Dr. Helen Caldicott, Union of Concerned Scientists, ENE News, Fairwoods Energy, Nuclear Information and Resources, Nuclear Savage, Beyond Nuclear, Fukushima Diary, Andrew Abiso on Fukushima Beach, Miss Milky the Clown, Missing Sky 101, Kevin Blanche, Nuts for Art. So I hand these out to people so that they can get themselves informed. This is the kind of activism that's really going to matter, you guys. Like, we have got to take it to the streets. 
And I'm not about at all about violence. I'm a completely passive, I'm not passive, but I, I mean, to me, being a pacifist means taking action. That's, that's what being a pacifist means to me. And so we have got to take action. And we have to take smart action, and we have to do it consistently, and we can't give up. Just because they're not fucking responding. They're not going to respond. They're going to go kicking and screaming, because guess what? They're going to have to find the solutions. They're going to have to spend their own freaking money to find the solutions. And they don't want to. They'd rather have our government just keep pouring their tax dollars down so they can buy their yachts and their private jets. And their kids can go to the best schools and they can dig those underground bunkers and they can build their spaceships so they can leave the toxic planet that they lived on, that they're leaving us with. So, I know I've been ranting. I said it was just going to be a quick note, but I'll be honest. I, I'm exhausted from... I don't know how the people that have been involved in this fight have done it for three years. But thank you for doing it. I've only been doing it one year and it's fucking exhausting. So, I just want to encourage everybody to keep on and uh, get involved. You know, get more involved than just watching YouTube subscriptions. So, uh, keep up the good fight and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.